Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? Um, I'm not really going to show up on a close recap, but we're going to talk about a few things here. First and foremost, I am very proud of the Detroit Pistons. The way they played last night without Andre Drummond, no Detroit Drew live stream, and barely any Blake. Blake did not play at all in the second half. I believe he only had like two points, but when he was out there, we, we just, we didn't, look, we didn't look good. You know, I, I still don't think he's 100%, uh, and I, I think that shows. Obviously, when you don't play a game and for being hurt, you're not healthy. But Bruce Brown stepped up. And he needed to play good. And he played good. James Harden still had 30 something points. But I said, if you hold him to 30 or under, we got a shot. And guess what? He got 30. But when he's not scoring 40 or 50, you're doing your job. Uh, Luke Kennard stepped up. I don't know. I don't understand why it takes Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin to both be out for Luke Kennard to get this many touches, regardless of who's starting and who's not. Luke Kennard needs as many touches. I mean, he just, just can shoot the lights out. You have to give shooters opportunity to shoot the ball. I mean, Tony Snell was getting good looks. Not all of them went in, but I mean, he was getting good looks. You have to give these shooters opportunities. Even Langston Galloway. I know a lot of us talked a lot of trash about Langston, and he's making us eat our words because you have to give shooters opportunities. There's just no telling when they can go off. Any of these guys can go off any given night. You have to give them good looks. And with a person like Derrick Rose, after... Our two main players, Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin, were out. Guess who else stepped up? Our fearless leader, Derrick Rose. It is so awesome to see him look so good. It is incredible. And he is making people like Mike Valeni and all the Piston haters out there and all the Derrick Rose haters. There's not many of them. But all of those guys, you know, the the Pistons fans who aren't buying in, Mike Valeni talks so much trash about the Pistons signing Derrick Rose because he's always hurt. And guess what? He has been a huge pickup for the Detroit Pistons. And it just goes to show you that those people don't know basketball. They don't know NBA. And they should stick to football and baseball and hockey because they don't get it. They really don't. Derrick Rose is the man. And anyone who says otherwise and said this was a bad pickup for us, you're eating your words. Absolutely eating your words. This guy is just unbelievable, man. He's Derrick Rose. He is as clutch as they come. He helped close the deal. And there was a time where it looked like, oh my God, not like this. Like, we're going to lose like this. Derrick Rose was still cool, calm, and collective, and just did Derrick Rose stuff. It, 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 it's awesome. It's awesome to watch Derrick Rose in the Pistons red, white, and blue. Maybe I'm fanboying. I don't know, but it's Derrick Rose. But this is, this is bringing the question in. Should the Detroit Pistons trade Blake Griffin? This is something that's very tough for me because I see both sides of the argument and I'm really neutral on it. I don't have a problem trading anybody on this team except for Luke Kennard and Sekou and Christian Wood and Jordan Bone. I think those guys are really the core for this team going forward. You just have to get equal value in return. We traded Tobias Harris, who was looking like a borderline all-star and a first-round draft pick to get him in here. Um, I'm not really too concerned about Boban or Avery Bradley, but I mean, we pretty much traded all of those guys for Blake Griffin because no one else of those are, are here. So if you're trading Blake, you have to get something back in return. And he hasn't been healthy in almost a year. Um, it's getting pretty close to the year mark. Right around uh, All-Star break is when Blake started having those knee problems. So, I mean, it's going to be here before we know it. So, I mean, it's not quite a year yet, but it's getting pretty close. I don't think a lot of teams are going to be overly excited to trade for Blake Griffin. You know, there's been rumors like Boston and stuff like that has been interested in him. I, I think we need to finagle Blake Griffin. And I, it's tough for me because Blake Griffin has done a lot. He has embraced Detroit since day one of coming in here. But there's no future with Blake Griffin. You know, this team's not going to be doing anything with Blake Griffin. He just, it sucks because Blake Griffin is super talented. I love Blake. You know, I wish him the best of luck wherever he's going to go. And again, I don't think that Tom Gorge is going to trade him. But if D'Lo is available, you have to trade Blake Griffin for D'Lo. You have to manage that somehow. 
You, you absolutely have to. I mean, we're giving this player too much money for being hurt. We need Blake Griffin. We need Blake Griffin to be healthy. And when he's not, it hurts us. It really does. We need him to score those 20 to 25 points a game. When he's hurt, we're just not getting it. So I might make a bigger video on that in the future, but I just want to get this update out. You guys enjoy your Sunday. DSA roundtable post game is going to be coming up pretty quick, so come over to that. Instagram, Twitter, DSA moves in the description. Check us all out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.